welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my favourites this fall or autumn if you're British like me. I'm going to show you just the things that I've been loving. It doesn't necessarily mean that I've gone out and bought loads of new stuff. It's things that have been lying in my drawers that I've picked up again and I'm absolutely loving. So let's get into the video. <laughs> Right, we're just gonna go straight in with a palette because this was launched about maybe two months ago now. It's so practical for every season. So with it being autumn at the moment, I've been using the, the greens here and you know the golds and the coppery shades. I've been loving the reds and then you've got like burgundy colors in there. But I also used it all over summer for the bright colours. So I just feel like it's worth your money because you're getting kind of all seasons. I've just been dipping into it so much. These greens are just insane. They're so pretty. And then you've got like your little oranges and your pumpkin kind of shades as well. I just think it's such value for money. So well done Jeffree Star. It's not been one of his biggest launches, but I think it's a little bit underrated there. So absolutely loving the Morphe Jeffree Star palette at the moment. Next is the Kat Von D shade and light palette. Now I know that she's kind of cancelled at the moment because she's been very controversial regarding giving her baby injections. She's decided not to. So a lot of people have kind of stopped buying her stuff but you can't deny that this is a good palette. I can't exactly show you what it looks like normally but as you can see I'm using this for contour at the moment. It's almost gone but it's so good because it's such a grey shadow tone so it's not orangey at all so I'm wearing it now on the cheekbones and it just gives a really natural shadow look and then I just love the yellow and light shades here which you can use for under your eyes you can clean up the cheekbone which I love doing just to give it a nice clean sharp look I'm taking this with me whenever I travel and that is a good sign to me that it's a good product if I can't live without it when I'm staying somewhere so there you go, that's the shade and light palette. Now this is a strange one. I'm gonna break about a brush now. This is um, a Morphe highlighting brush. I've tried different highlighting brushes. So I tried to use the, the new Fenty highlighting brush and as you can see, it has bronzer on it because I don't like it as a highlighting brush. I've tried other ones. I've tried to switch it up a bit. I always come back to this. I actually have two of them because I originally bought the Morphe, it's called M510 and then Jaclyn Hill brought out her collection and this was in it. So I thought I could do with two because I absolutely love it. It fits exactly on the top of that cheekbone. Oh my God, this is a genius idea. Why have I never thought of this before? It would cut time in the morning so much. <laughs> it's not too chunky, it's not too big. It's not gonna flood your whole cheek with highlight. It's just gonna do that straight line and then you blend it out afterwards. Next, I am back onto my Tarte Shape Tape. Now, I've not had this in a while because I switched to the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, but I do think this has got slightly better coverage. I'm a bit annoyed because I, I had to buy it online and I've got slightly too dark a shade for my face, but it's so good and you, you can just see why it is so raved about. I advise you to buy it online when they do free shipping because being in the UK, you have to pay taxes to get it shipped over here so just wait until it's free shipping and give it a try because you won't regret it. I feel really silly raving about um, a beauty sponge but I just want to say how much the Real Techniques, you can see the, the little logo they've got here, the Real Techniques blender is the best on the market and I know that's annoying for Beauty Blender because they brought out you know the concept of it but it's bigger and it's just so much more usable because it's got the flat edge here. So I like to turn it this way and do under the eyes like this and then also clean up under here. And then you just use this part for the whole of the foundation. And I also like that when you make it damp and squeeze out the excess, it's not hard. It's still got some bounce to it. So it can bounce really easily on the skin. I got one from Primark the other day and it was just terrible. It's £5.99 compared to the £16 Beauty Blender. So you're getting so much value for money there. Love that. We've then got the Rimmel Scandalize Mascara. And I'm going to be honest with you, I've never used a Rimmel Mascara. They're never raved about. You never hear of anybody using them. But my mum gave me this because she hated it. So she said, just give it a go. She will not stop going on about how much she hated this mascara because I don't think she realized that it has a flat edge here and then there's like a wing, you can see the wing here. It's supposed to wing first to basically add a load of clumpiness, then turn it around and brush the clumpiness out. Not really how mascara should work, but it does work. 
I mean, you have to bear with the clumps at first, which is what my mum hated about it, but you can wait for it to dry a little bit and then go in with that comb and it will push them up and give them so much volume. So I am enjoying that at the moment. On to lips, I'm using the Night Moth MAC Lip Liner at the moment. This is a really deep lip liner. Obviously, it comes in so handy for autumn. It just sits in my drawer the whole year and I don't get to use it in summer, which is upsetting, but we use it a lot in autumn. And then I pair it with the MAC Rebel Lipstick. So it just goes really nice because the Rebel is a little bit lighter. So it gives that bit of a purple pop of color but then you've got the drama with the lip liner, so I love those two. Lip balm at the moment, my lips are suffering. I don't know about anybody else. Um, I've got about six lip balms, maybe seven in my drawer behind me. Trying them all, this one comes up top every time. It's the Dr. Paw Paw. I've spoken about this in my TK Maxx video before. The top one is a scrub and the bottom is the actual lip balm. It's the only thing that I feel really soaks my lips. You can feel it protecting them. I got a Burt's Bees lip balm, the stick version, and it feels like it comes off within like 30 seconds. I can't feel it on my lips. So this is heavy and that's what I like about it. My highlighter, this, I'm so happy that Benefit listened to us. Basically, Jaclyn Hill raved about this highlighter, which was originally in the Cheek Leavers palette. So you may have seen me speak about this before. As you can see, I've used it all up and Jaclyn said, Benefit, please make a single pan of this highlight because it's so good. Next minute, everyone went to get them and then they brought out a single pan. So I just feel like that never happens in the beauty industry. So thank you, Benefit. I use this every single day. People say what's on your face because it's so smooth. There's no chalkiness. There's no end where you can see where the highlighter ends and the blush starts. It just blends seamlessly and it gives such a soft glow that it looks almost like a cream highlighter. And I really struggle to use up my other highlighters because I'm using that every single day because it's buildable, so it's just perfect. I'm gonna talk about this brow pomade and I'm actually saying it right this time. I always say pomade, don't ask me why. Pomade, Cap on D again. It's a long wear pom pomade. Oh my God, I'm doing it again. It's a long wear pomade and it's exactly like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one if you're looking for you know, just to shake it up sometimes when you're sick of buying the same product. Get this, it's the same thing and worth your money. And then I have the MAC 197S brush. This is so perfect for contouring your nose. So you just get it right in there exactly where you want it and then blend outwards. And it's not too big for your face. I find so many contour brushes are just too much and you want a really thin one just to get a nice precise line. So absolutely loving that. L'Oreal Life's a peach blush. I've spoken about this before as well. I can't get enough of this blush, it is just amazing. The colour looks so bland in the pan, but it's got such a nice gold rosy sheen to it. It's a bit like uh, Benefit California blush. It smells of peaches, absolutely beautiful and really, really cheap. Have to have a nude lipstick in this because I wear nudes every single day. This is the MAC Kinda Sexy Matte Lipstick. It's kind of a pinky, but very muted nude and it smells nice. I don't know, it's not supposed to be scented but it smells a bit toffee-ish. I love my MAC lipsticks and I don't know if you knew this but if you take six MAC empties back to MAC they will give you a free lipstick. So I just buy so many lipsticks because their lipsticks are so good. I save them up when they're empty, I take them back and I get another lipstick. So I kind of got a little cycle going on. Also I've got the clear lids which you can get on eBay which make it much easier for you to see what you have got in your drawer. A little tip for you there. And we have the fan. Now, you know I'm obsessed with Jaclyn Hill. I got this because she got it. It's the exact one. Perfect for setting your makeup when you've got setting sprays. If you don't use setting sprays, not really any point in getting this, but I get my use out of this, so I love it. Also really good when you just get unbearably hot sometimes and you just need to cool down, like when you're wearing a thick jumper and you think, oh, this is perfect because it's autumn, but then you go to 100 degrees when you're inside. Got my little baby on hand. And the last product that I want to share with you is my essential oil diffuser. It's actually behind me here. It's light changing, which I really like. This thing is so much better for your lungs than candles. I've had this thing for ages because candles can get into your lungs if you have them on for too long, they can cause cancer. 
that terrifies me. So I have got this to try and make my home smell nice without the risk. So it comes with some essential oils that you put basically a few drops into some water and then it will mist and it looks really pretty in the home as well. The oils that I bought with it from the same website on Amazon were terrible. I would advise getting some purer oils because it's going to be much better for you. The more concentrated the oil the better. There's like lemon, there's orange, and they all do different things. So peppermint is really revitalizing, orange is for energy, lavender is obviously to chill you out and be nice and relaxing. And I just really enjoy mixing them up. You kind of put 10 drops in there. And also you can use the oils for absolutely anything. You can put them into your bath, you can use them um, diluted for massage oils. There's all sorts of things you can use it for. And yeah, it makes the house smell lovely. So there's my favourites, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel, leave a comment and give us a thumbs up, I would love that. Thank you so much for watching, bye.